100.9 The Creek. Real music, real radio. Creekside Mornings, Tony Doolin, Charles Davis. It's always interesting when the player shows up before Alex Von Coitel does, <laughs> because then we have time to talk to the player, mm-hmm. and they leave here going, they've got issues. Oh, yeah, yeah, because they get they've to catch us in between. Issues. Oh, my God, why'd get, you bring me here? They get the off-the-mic people. Yeah, off-the-mic conversations. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, Larry, I don't know if you've been prepped for this. Larry Smith is our guest today Larry. for Making Mayhem. Yeah. I don't know if anyone has prepared you for what is about to happen. I have not. Okay. Oh. Alex Von Coito, the voice. From Alex Von Coito, the voice. Voice. So embarrassing. Alex Von Coito, the voice. 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 <laughs> voice. 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 Alex Von Coito. My we didn't do that. He he produced that himself, Larry. Uh-huh. How like you feel it. about that, Larry? Um, I, like, I like it. Okay. Yeah, all right. Likes it. See, Dino said to get it to you guys for the locker room. For get your hyped yeah, up just hype you up before the game. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. We're, We're playing for Alex bit. tonight. No. <laughs> Alex Von Coitel, good morning, sir. Good morning. How by, are the, you? by the way, I found out this piece of information, and I have not used this in mm-hmm. three weeks, um, but I found out that your grandmother uh, refers to you by your full name, that's and correct. she is straight up German, so it's Alexander von Koydel. <laughs> Alexander. She doesn't say my last name, but Just yeah. Alexander. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Good talk. <laughs> so from now on, that is how I'm going you to come address home, you, Alexander. Alexander. Yeah, that's kind of how you used to address me. But yeah, that, yeah. Well, sort of, I got used to you. Yeah, I guess so. I yeah. gotta get back out of my comfort zone here. Exactly. Yeah, um, let's talk about uh, let's talk about this past weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, three games: Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Thursday was that school game in Fayetteville. Alex, I'm gonna need you to keep your dog quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Hazel. We'll get to Hazel in a minute. The she reigning wa- she wants a radio time. Champion. She wants a spotlight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Simmer down, Hazel. Simmer down now. That ain't no wiener dog. It's a pit bull. <laughs> That's a pit bull in wiener dog clothing. <laughs> so, uh, Alex, uh, Thursday, mm-hmm. Fayetteville. Uh, notoriously tough team for us this year. I thought, you know, I listened to some of the broadcast. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought it was a great game Thursday, uh, yeah. despite the fact that we lost at the very end. Probably the toughest we've played Fayetteville. Would you agree with that, Larry? Except yep. for Friday. Yep. yep. It was yep. a really good game. Hazel, baby, we're going to get to you. Superstar. She wants her turn. God, does she have a rider, too? <laughs> Do we have to... Separate out all of the brown kibble? Uh, I think so. It's in, it's in a bowling uh, office. Just get down to the soft kibble. Uh-huh. That's all she'll have <laughs> in her dressing have. room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Thursday, really strong game. It man. was, without a doubt, the best uh, we had played Fayetteville in that building this season. Um, you know, And we're going to be going back there again towards the end of the year. So yeah. it was good to get that one under our belt. And then the next night, we came here. Um, it was one of the weirdest endings to a game I've ever seen. Yeah, it was. Um, now, so we had some ice issues during the second intermission, and we had to call the game early, which is odd because that's already happened to Fayetteville once yeah. this season Yeah, um, up in Fayetteville. So it happened again to them, this time at a different rink. And, um, you know, fortunately we came away with a win that way. But I think just in general, the way we played that game, we doubled them in shots on goal. Mm. We outplayed them start to finish. Yeah. I don't think either side was truly satisfied with the way that game ended just because, you know, Fayetteville's upset that they didn't get two points and we're upset because we were playing so well yeah, and, and we're frustrated by yeah, the goal. Yeah, yeah. That's the point that, that I want to talk about because those those two periods Friday night that we played, probably some of the finest hockey I've seen. You guys really took it to Fayetteville and to hold them to 0-0 zero, zero at the end of two periods. Both goalies had a great game. Mm-hmm. Um, just really a good game Larry how'd yeah. you feel about it I thought it was we, I thought that was the best game that we ever played them mm. um even after Thursday night I thought yeah. we played them even better Friday night and yeah. uh it's a shame we couldn't have finished out the third mm-hmm. we had to end it early but got two points and that's all that matters well so. I told Ashley um I told Ashley on the way home uh because you know we left we were listening to the shootout as okay. it, because it ended in a shootout so I was listening to that and I said you know it's a real shame that this happened because I really feel like we would have won that mm-hmm. game yeah. mm. Friday night in yeah. regulation. Yeah. We would have won that game in the third period. Yeah. Uh, second period, the momentum was was definitely behind Macon, and I really felt, I, yeah, we would have won that game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It felt that way without a doubt. Yeah. Um, although, you know, you can never be sure just based on the way their goalie was playing. I mean, honestly, both nights at home this weekend were tough against uh, goaltenders. You know? Yeah. Brody Clays was uh, unreal for them on Friday, and then – Michael Stiliatis, he did a great job Friday night as well. He stopped all 14 shots he faced in regulation, and then in the shootout he stopped four out of five, which 
Yep. You can't ask for much more no. yeah. than that no, against, yeah. against Fayetteville. Uh, mm-hmm. Saturday night against Birmingham. It was the wiener dog race. It was pucks and paws night. Tons mm-hmm. of dogs there. Yep. Um, we'll talk about the wiener races in a minute. We're getting to you, Hazel. <laughs> Wait, she she, she just, she just wait for her time, man. <laughs> getting to you, darling. Patience is not her strong suit. No. Apparently not. No. She but takes after me. Running is. I heard you know, she's strong with that. <laughs> strong. Mm, that was unbelievable. Yep. Um, talk to me about Saturday because it seemed like to me we were really tired. Yeah. Third game's got to be tough. And, you know, I think I don't want to, you know, make excuses for the team or anything like that, but it was difficult because of the situation. Like, we had just played Fayetteville back to back games, and Birmingham was coming into our building without having played since Tuesday. Okay. Um, so they well were, rested. They were well rested. Um, they were hungry. They had just beaten Pensacola, I think, five days ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and they, you know, kind of traveled here, got here nice and early, and we were still kind of recovering from a two-game <laughs> split two, with Fayetteville. Two battles yeah. that y'all dealt with, you know, on, on the ice. Yeah, hard yeah. So yeah. I think that definitely showed in the first six minutes or so of that game. We fell behind really early. Uh, I think it was 3 nothing after six or seven minutes. Um, you know, Ryan called his time out on the bench, and from that point on, we got a lot better. Yep. But, yep. Um, you know, it wasn't enough. I thought we actually outplayed them for mm. the – second two periods yeah um we definitely had the edge and shots on goal and chances absolutely um but again we ran into a hot goaltender art bry he really kind of he stole really the was on fire saturday night he, he made he well. made some saves that i just thought were ridiculous yeah yeah, yeah it was like he stopped but, him in midair mm. it was really bizarre oh, matrix that thing okay yeah yeah dude, yeah, dude guys, was on fire saturday i don't know night. if you guys saw on our website the picture that our photographer managed to get brian meeks but that pretty much summed up the night in one fell swoop with that save he made on the goal line on Tenemy on yeah. power play. It was just nuts. But, yeah, um, I mean, sometimes you run into a hot goaltender and all you can do is tip your cap. Yep, he played a good game Saturday night. Mm-hmm. We have a game. This is a makeup game. Um, I realized this morning as I was talking about line change, uh, probably not going to be a line no, change tomorrow no, night. Probably not. Because no. there's a game tomorrow Got a game. night. 7.30 mm-hmm. puck drop. Uh, taking on Pensacola. This is a makeup game. That's correct. Is this from the board breaking incident? Yes. Caleb Board Breaker Cameron, who <laughs> yeah. has earned that nickname. Uh, he has, yeah. He, Dude, you broke the arena. Yeah. <laughs> Straight the up whole broke arena, the centerplex. <laughs> Ever since he's been given that nickname, it seems like he's doing it even more. Well, hey, if yeah. you go if you gonna be if that's gonna be your name, you better live up to it. You know it. what? If that's your thing, do your thing. <laughs> I mean, you know, mm-hmm. Call him BB, break it up. <laughs> yeah. So what do you see for uh, Tuesday night's game? It's gonna be rough. You've only had a couple of days of rest. Yeah, exactly. And you know, Pensacola, we just went down there and took all four points from them and they haven't forgotten about that. That no. was um, so they come pretty in. recently. Yeah. You know, so they've been on a uh, kind of weird, unexpected struggle lately. Um, you know, that team was third or fourth place in the SPHL for a while this season and they've kind of dropped down to the middling area. So um, they're definitely wanting to get back on the right track before playoffs, and they're going to be hungry. We're playing them three out of our four next home game, or our last home game. So okay. wow. we're going to have to get used to seeing them. Yeah. Yeah. But a chance to uh, grab some points. Mm-hmm. Yep. So. Exactly. Larry mm-hmm. Smith, good morning, sir. Good morning. How are, How are you? you? I'm good. 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 I'm good. Tell me where you're from. I'm from Buffalo, New York. Okay. From Buffalo, right. um, where it is currently snowing. Yep. Okay. A, lot, a lot of snow. About <laughs> nine feet of snow <laughs> oh, yes. currently in Buffalo. So you have to appreciate the weather despite the fact that it's been rainy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So uh, when did you start uh, skating, Larry? Uh, about when I was seven. So oh, oh late wow. Rumor. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> it took me seven years to get it. So. <laughs> well, tell me, about your, uh, tell me about your hockey career up to this point. How did you end up in making? <laughs> um, so I, I played uh, juniors in the uh, USHL for about a year and a half in Sioux City, Sioux City, Iowa. And then um, I was in the OJ but the Buffalo Junior Sabres. It's the Orange Juice League. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't know that. I mean. Orange Juice League. Okay. Do people actually okay. call it that. Uh, yeah, is, is, yeah, there like a, is there like a Sweet Tea League or a Lemonade League? Or, okay, sweet know. Tea yeah. League. That's in the South, buddy. That's in the South. Yeah, exactly. And then um, after the uh, OJ, I was in the CCHL for my last two years. I played t- junior till I was 21. And then I went to uh, um, Niagara University back at home for four years. And then uh, I was in Pensacola, actually, for four weeks or so, and then came to Macon. All right. Well, welcome. Yeah. Thank you. How old are you? Uh, 27. You look really young, man. Yeah, baby face. Now, I will say this. On skates, uh, Larry's about seven foot four. Manu <laughs> Bowl. Tall. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. tall on skates. Yeah. How tall are you out of your skates? Six four off skates. Yeah. yeah. So, on skates, 
about seven three. <laughs> yeah, I mean, somewhere you know, around there. When he stretches out his arms, you know, it just gets really dumb. Yeah, it gets stupid. We were uh, we were talking about uh, we were talking about you being a Mac, and you enjoy making, right? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. you guys I need to get it. downtown more often. You're yes, on the we north got, side yeah. over there. Yeah, yeah, got, yeah. got to pull you off my head. All the actions down here, <laughs> man. Damn, yeah, we gotta definitely have to come down a lot more. Yeah. How do you feel? Uh, how do you feel the uh, team is gelling right now? It feels like they're coming together. Yeah, I think we're coming together a lot more. It's no matter what what um, <clears throat> team you're on. Um, when you're going into the playoffs, as long as you're going in hot, it's all that matters. Mm-hmm. You're just going to make the playoffs, and as long as you go in hot, then you can you can make a run, and you'll be fine. So that's what we're pushing for right now. All right. Make the playoffs first, and then after that, we'll take care of the rest. So. All right, now I'm going to ask you this question. I've modified this question. Yeah, after um, – After watching Slapshot <laughs> yesterday and realizing it hasn't aged well. Making no. some adjustments. <laughs> Normally, I ask the question, best hockey movie of all time, Slapshot, Goon, or Miracle – I'm now amending that. Mm-hmm. Mighty Ducks, Goon, or Miracle, Larry? <laughs> I can answer this for you, I think. Yeah, I still have to say Miracle, but yeah. Mighty Ducks is definitely close. <laughs> okay, go. yeah. right, there we go. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, Charles, way, Charles, are you proud of the way that Mighty, Mighty Ducks made it into this? I'm not, look, I'm not proud it. of the way it happened. <laughs> um, it happened because an omission had to be made. Uh-huh. I, but almost, I, <laughs> I almost took Mystery Alaska. <laughs> but, oh, and, and, that's a good one, too. That's a good one. Yeah. It's still a good one, but no, I'm so proud so that, mm-hmm. that you know Emilio Estevez and, and his great movie has made it into the selection now. I'm very happy. <laughs> All right, so by the way, Saturday night was the 40th anniversary yep. of The Miracle on Ice. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. I found that out after I gave up my microphone. Ah, <laughs> I would have brought that up Saturday night. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops! Gave it up a little too, uh, a little too early. Well, you didn't even know about it because you're only 29, right? Yeah, exactly. 29 years old. I had no clue about Just it. Just barely older than you, Larry. You know, I also have a baby face. <laughs> Larry Smith, thanks for being here. Absolutely. Alex Thank Von Coitel, good to see you. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. but she needs to get her turn. Okay, yeah. so Hazel, for the second year in a row, was the champion of the Wiener Dog Race. Hello, Hazel. Second year in a row, huh? <laughs> All right. I did. I did mention Saturday night that I think Hazel needs to be tested for performance enhancing snossages. Yeah, I think yeah. it's some. Do you want to know the real reason I brought her in this morning? Why? She's not a wiener dog. She's a no, pit bull. The Why? real reason is because I want you to look her in those precious eyes and accuse her of cheating. <laughs> I mean, Cheater! is this is this just another Astro scandal waiting Should've to happen? Seen that look, is, is that what this is? I have I have <laughs> I have no qualms doing that whatsoever. But it's not Hazel's known. fault. It's your fault. You're the cheater. <laughs> Alex, you, you ain't right here banging on trash cans it. to make her come to you. Now, you know, I, I hope you're now not. Now, look, Larry, that. you were in the locker room when yeah, all this yeah. went down. I've got to tell you, I have never seen a dog run like this. <laughs> was it just pew? It was like the dog's feet didn't even touch the <laughs> ice. It was just, I think it was flying. It was, I blacked out at one point. I was like, oh, my God, the wind when the dog came by me was about 40-mile-an-hour wind. It was oh, ridiculous. Okay. Yeah. yeah, why even do this anymore if you're going to enter this dog, Alex? <laughs> well, I thought the other defending champ was going to be there again this year. Mm. She she wasn't. Mm. She made it for a really close contest last year. Look, this I'm year just, she. I'm yeah. saying. Well, she, now you got to go for the three peat. Cherry I'm blossom. Yeah, exactly. uh, cherry blossom winter dog race is uh, coming up. She'll and, be there. Boy, that's that's awesome. I think at the end of that race, they actually take a cherry blossom pin and just hammer it into the winning. No, ball. no, <laughs> that's what they did. No, they I don't that, do that. No, <laughs> Pete will be dying in a heartbeat. Uh, mm. Do they do tests? <laughs> I think they need <laughs> nah, to. I think you're good. I think you're good. I'm not sure Whew, it's in okay. the cherry blossom budget this year. It's to do the that. Ivan Drago of winter dog races. Drug testing on wiener dogs. <laughs> By the way, Larry, he makes us play this twice. Yeah, <laughs> man. It was nominated for a Grammy. You know, I just like to remind you. Came in second. Voice, 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 vo